I may not be telling you anything you don't already know, but I'm an asshole. This isn't just an act I do for the show or anything. I'm a genuine asshole in real life as well. And I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty damn good at it. Sometimes I even do freelance asshole work. You know, if I'm at a restaurant and somebody's giving their server shit, I'll be an asshole on that server's behalf. Same goes for people in front of me in line that give the cashier crap over prices that he has nothing to do with or 20-year-olds that won't get up for an old lady on the subway. Sometimes I use my asshole for the powers of good. And other times I just can't help it. I'll give you an example. Last week I was celebrating a certain co-host's most recent complete solar circumnavigation with a group of friends. There's a dozen of us crammed into a small room, herbally supplementing our recreation, and as often happens in those situations, you end up with three or four little conversations going on in everybody's earshot. Heath and I are discussing fantasy football draft strategy, but across the room I hear a mutual friend of ours discussing the cleanse that he's on. He's detoxifying, you see. He's clearing his body of environmental poisons with juice and vitamins. And I tell myself that this is not a good time to unleash the asshole. The asshole should remain dormant because even though he's over there telling some poor girl that he's eating acai berries because the antioxidants clear his bloodstream of industrial toxins, we're all friends here. So here I am consciously not being an asshole, consciously not saying a word. And this is nothing new. At least a dozen times a day I'm in an elevator or a restaurant or a line or a friend's house or at work and I'm listening to somebody expound on the virtues of an herbal supplement or their acupuncturist or their astrologer or their priest. And I rein in the asshole, I bite my tongue till it bleeds and then I bitch to my poor wife later or I write a diatribe. So Heath and I continue to talk PPR strategy, and I try to filter out the pseudoscientific bullshit wafting across the room at me. I pretend that I don't notice that he just said the next phase of his cleanse will clear the toxins from his fucking spine. I know this guy. We've been friends for a long time. Hell, this is the guy that introduced me to Heath, so I gave him a lot more leeway than I normally give. You know, I've tried to reason with him in the past when I saw him buying Airborne before a business trip, but it never matters what I tell him. He takes Airborne when he's not sick, and he continues to not be sick, so damn it, it works no matter what science has to say about it. So I was just going to let it go. And then he said something about sickness being 80% mental, and the poor girl that he's babbling at said, Really? And I couldn't help myself. No, I interjected, not really, because at a certain point my brain ignores the social instinct and says that when people are spreading demonstrably false medical information, correcting that is more important than being polite, so I was an asshole. And I was just enough of an asshole to make my point without permanently alienating our friendship, because like I said, I'm good at the asshole thing. And that's the bit that far too people understand. It's okay to be an asshole as long as you're good at it. It would be damn easy for an amateur asshole to fuck this whole situation up. If you end up with nothing more than a nice guy saying X and an asshole saying Y, you're probably doing more harm than good. You've got to be a convincing asshole, and part of that is making sure that you know more about what you're talking about than the person you're being an asshole to. Like everything in life, if you want to do it well, you've got to put in the work. You've got to practice. I can't tell you how many times I've seen an atheist or skeptic blow his lid and call somebody out on a bullshit claim only to lose an argument and come off looking not just like an asshole, but a stupid asshole. And a stupid asshole that made the idiot spouting the bullshit look right. When you put yourself out there, you're painting a target on your own back. So if you're not ready to deal with what comes, you're better off holding your tongue. If you're not thick-skinned enough to dismiss all the nasty shit people might say about your mom, don't bother. And if you're not ready to rationally defend the challenges that you should know are coming, you're not ready to be the asshole. And that's fine. Some people are good at it and some people aren't, and we're damn fortunate that not all the atheists in the movement have achieved my level of comfort with it. I'd never suggest to anyone else that they try being an asshole. Sometimes you're better off leaving it to the professionals. But I would suggest that when you see a good asshole in action, back off and let them do their thing. Much of the time, they're being an asshole so that you won't have to. And that brings me around to an interesting postscript to the story, by the way. Later in the evening, I was chatting privately with a victim of my friend's medical lecture, and she thanked me for interjecting. She said she'd been looking for a way out of the conversation, but she didn't want to be rude. So I saved her some embarrassment, I saved my friend from being berated by a second-rate asshole, and I saved the assembled crowd from Dr. Oz-level medical advice. The masked asshole strikes again.